in this video, I want to have a look at something called the discriminant. So the expression that's under the square root sign in the quadratic formula is called the discriminant. And the symbol we use for it is this little triangle called delta. So this here is our quadratic formula. So under our square root sign, it says b squared minus 4ac. So b squared minus 4ac, that is the discriminant. Now, what it's used for is it helps us figure out how many roots or how many x-intercepts or zeros our quadratic equation is going to have. So what we've got are three cases. So if x, sorry, if the discriminant, if delta is less than zero, because it's under the square root sign, we can't take the square root of a negative number. So that means there are no real solutions to that quadratic. It won't have any x-intercepts. If the discriminant is exactly equal to zero, then that sort of gets rid of this whole plus or minus the square root of whatever bit, and we're just left with that minus b over 2a. And what that means is that we've just got one answer, because there's no plus or minus anymore. It just gives us one answer, so there's one real solution or one x-intercept. Now, if the discriminant is greater than zero, then we end up with two solutions or two x-intercepts, because we have that plus or minus situation of whatever that number comes out to be. So we don't have to look at the whole quadratic formula. We don't actually have to figure out what the solutions are or what the x-intercepts are. But we, if we just want to know how many there are, then we can just look at the discriminant. So we've got three examples. We're going to go through and find the discriminant of each one to determine how many roots or how many x-intercepts it has. So our first one, our discriminant, is b squared, so my, sorry, 3 squared, minus 4ac, so 4 times 2 times 7. So that would give us 9 minus 56. And we don't even really care what that answer actually is. We only care whether it's 0, positive, or negative. But for the sake of it, we'll figure it out, and we'll end up with minus 47. So because that's less than 0, that means we have no solutions or we have no x-intercepts, or no zeros, no roots, whatever you want to call it. All right, for our second example, our discriminant is um, that minus 2 squared minus 4 times, well, the coefficient of x squared is just 1 times 1. So minus 2 squared gives us 4, and this bit gives us 4, and that comes out just to be 0. So that means we have one solution, or one x-intercept. And our final one, our discriminant, would be that minus 2 squared minus 4 times minus 3 times 5. So b squared minus 4ac. And that's going to give us 4 plus 60, which would give us 64. So because that's greater than 0, we're going to have two solutions. All right, so that's just a quick look at a few examples of how we can use the discriminant to determine how many solutions our quadratic has.